Hey guys, Paulo here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm beyond excited to share my 2024 studio setup. It's been an amazing journey since last year and I've made some significant upgrades that I can't wait to show you. When I started this project last year, I knew there were some items I just had to wait for just to get right. And today, I'll be showing you some of the finer details that make my setup the perfect ultra desk setup for my work in marketing, video and audio editing for stuff like my YouTube channel, as well as some recreational EDM music production in the background. So stick around because this setup is definitely ready for 2024. Before we dive in, let's take a quick look back at my 2023 setup. It served me well with hundreds of projects being initiated and completed in the past year, but as technology evolves, so does the need for an upgrade. And for the most part, my desk, gaming desktop, primary screen, and speakers stay the same, as those are pretty much hard to beat in terms of specs even a year later. So if you want to see how top notch these accessories are even a year later, check out the link to that video in the description. So let's start with my first touch point on a typical workday. So the Elgato Stream Deck Plus was originally designed for streamers and content creators, you know, for easy access to streaming controls, sound effects, and the like. But here's the thing, I've turned it into my personal studio control hub. It's like taking something that's already cool and tweaking it to fit exactly for what I need it for. Now, I primarily use the Stream Deck Plus to manage all of my studio attack. It's all about controlling the lights, adjusting my Elgato face cam, and getting the Elgato air light just right for that perfect shot for whenever I do my meetings. It also serves as a nice little lamp for my desk overall, for what I'm doing stuff on my desk. But the Stream Deck is like having a mini control room at my fingertips. And the best part, there's this one button here that when the day is done with one press and everything just powers down. It's like my personal studio off switch, originally meant for streamers to switch scenes or sounds. I use it to switch off my day and it just feels satisfying. So while the Stream Deck Plus was built for a different purpose, for me, it's all about streamlining my studio sessions. It's a classic case of a tool being more than what it was intended for, and honestly, I think that's pretty awesome. Since I brought up the Elgato face cam, this is a key player in my visual toolkit. With its studio grade lens and advanced image sensor, every frame it captures is sharp and vibrant. Whether it's just for my live streaming sessions or just a regular video call, the Elgato face cam ensures a professional grade visual every time. And it's more than just high resolution. It's about bringing a level of visual fidelity that elevates my content. And with that, I can tweak settings like field of view and exposure right from my stream deck, making adjustments on the fly a breeze. It's about having control to get the look just right every time. And the companion to the Elgato face cam is the Elgato Air Light. This isn't your average desk lamp, it's actually a professional lighting solution which provides an ample amount of light into my workspace, ensuring I am well lit without any harsh shadows. And just like the face cam, the controls are just at my fingertips thanks to the Stream Deck. I can adjust the color, the brightness, the temperature, all with a simple press. And it's all about getting that perfect ambiance with minimal fuss. Every 
peripheral on this desk. That includes the monitors, the audio interface, storage drives, lighting, all converging into one hub. A lot of people see the computer as the core of any desk setup, but let me show you why this device is the heart of my setup. This is the CalDigit TS4. It doesn't just connect devices to the Mac, it connects them all together into an interconnected ecosystem. And it's just not limited to my Mac. When I plug in my MacBook Pro or switch to a Windows platform, the TS4 seamlessly integrates everything. Let me show you how easy it is and how quick it is to switch between devices with the Cal Digit. So I'm switching from my Windows tablet to my MacBook Pro. And in under 30 seconds, you will see my computer all set up and ready to go for video editing. And the beauty about it is that all it takes is one Thunderbolt 4 connection to make it all happen. And it also frees up the other ports for me to play around with if I want to expand my setup even more. And just like that, I'm ready to go. Let's talk about the tech. Thunderbolt 4, like what it's used in the CalDigit TS4, isn't your everyday connection. We're talking about a colossal 40 gigabits per second data transfer speed. That's four times faster than the USB 3.1 Gen 2 found in a typical USB-C hub that you can get on Amazon. But imagine transferring a full-length 4K movie in a mere few seconds. That is the power of Thunderbolt 4. And it's not just all about speed. The Thunderbolt 4 platform brings advanced display capabilities. While USB-C might support a decent resolution, Thunderbolt 4 ramps it up to 8K, handling multiple high-resolution displays with ease. In this example, I've got a 4K setup running here and a secondary almost 4K setup in portrait format. So all this together can show you the capability of this whole system. This is a game changer, especially for video editors, graphic designers, and anyone who relies on very detailed visual work. The TS4 also excels in power delivery and connectivity. Unlike standard USB-C hubs, it provides up to 100 watts of power delivery, charging everything from your smartphone to high-powered laptops like my MacBook Pro. Plus, it also does daisy chaining. And here's a view of all 18 ports, which I have already taken advantage of. But as you can see here, it's a clean setup that plugs directly into my Mac via one Thunderbolt 4 cable, allowing me to access the other two Thunderbolt ports available on my Mac. So in my daily workflow, the CalDigit TS4 is indispensable. Every peripheral on my desk, the Elgato accessories, this LG monitor, the audio interface. So when I connect my MacBook Pro or any Windows machine to this TS4, it brings the whole desk to life. It's about creating a seamless, efficient workspace, sometimes a typical USB-C can't simply compete with. So, is the CalDigit TS4 worth the hefty price? Absolutely. It's not just a hub. It's a cornerstone of efficiency and productivity. And for those looking for more than just basic connectivity who need top-tier performance, top data speed, and display quality across different monitors on your desk, the CalDigit TS4 is an investment that pays off every day in your workflow.
let's switch gears and talk about my audio setup. As someone who has a deep love for audio engineering and high fidelity sound, I've carefully selected each component for the ultimate production and listening experience. The centerpiece of my audio setup is the Neumann MT48 audio interface. Renowned for its premium quality, the MT48 is more than just an interface. Known for its ultra low noise and distortion levels, the MT48 ensures that the audio it captures is as true to the source as possible. This means every recording is crystal clear, perfect for professional grade productions. What makes this special is the superior analog to digital conversion, ensuring that every subtle nuance of sound is captured, preserving the richness and depth of the audio. In my setup, the MT48 acts as the central hub processing and routing of high quality audio seamlessly between all my devices and is super essential for my varied content creation needs. Switching from the Shure MV7 to the Neumann BCM705 as my primary microphone was a great choice as this microphone is very dynamic and detailed. The BCM705 is Neumann's only dynamic microphone. Its hypercardioid pattern isolates my voice perfectly, while the solid build and integrated shock mount offers both durability as well as practicality. And finally, the Neumann NDH30 headphones. The NDH30s are reference grade headphones offering a true and uncolored sound representation. This makes them perfect for critical listening during editing. With long sessions in the studio, comfort is key. The NDH30s are designed for prolonged use without fatigue, which is crucial for my workflow. And finally, being flagship headphones, they bring a sense of completeness to my studio. The detailed sound reproduction complements the rest of my Neumann setup. This combination of Neumann and Genelec guarantees top tier audio, making my studio not just a workspace, but a sanctuary for high quality sound. Next up in my studio setup is something that truly brings the space to life. My lighting arrangement. Let's delve into how these lights not only enhance the aesthetics but also boost my productivity and creativity. Right at the heart of my studio is the Nanoleaf Black Triangle setup. These aren't just your typical lights, they're actually pieces of art. The way they can dynamically change to fit the mood or the task at hand is just mesmerizing. Whether I'm editing a video or just relaxing, these lights set the perfect tone as the foundation for the feel of the room. Complementing the triangles, I've got the nano leaf lines on the side here, just behind my Cervelo S5. These act as accent lights, adding layers and depth to the room's ambience. The combination of the triangles and lines, along with my Philips Hue lights, create this symphony of lights that both functional and visually stunning. And to tie it all together, I also use these Nanoleaf Essential Bulbs, which are just these bulbs that add extra touch of atmosphere, seamlessly blending with the rest of the lighting to create a cohesive and inviting environment. And just like the prior accessories, controlling this array of lights is a breeze with my Elgato Stream Deck again. 
It's not just a tool for streamers, but it's a powerful hub for managing my entire lighting setup. With just a touch, I can change scenes, adjust brightness, or switch modes. The convenience it brings to my workflow is just unparalleled. Taking things to another level, I use the Mac app called Portal. It's also available on iOS, but in this example, I'm going to use the Mac version. And what this app is about is creating experiences which ties your lighting, your sound, and the visuals all together to give you this really cool experience. If you wanted to focus on something, you can set a theme and all the lights and the audio and the visuals will adjust itself to help you focus. Or if you want to relax and just get away, it'll set the theme for you and it is just a surreal experience. And Nanoleaf and Portal combined does a great job creating such a relaxing or creative experience. And I cannot recommend this enough. It's like stepping into a different world, whether I'm in a focused work mode or a relaxed ambiance mode. So in conclusion, my studio lighting isn't just about illumination. This lighting setup plays a critical and crucial role in the creative process. It's a perfect blend of technology, art, and functionality that makes my studio a unique and inspiring place to work and create. And last but not least, the final touches. These are items that contribute to the personality of my space. And this includes a bunch of wall art, a bunch of accessories, and a bunch of little items that just adds a little bit of that personality to my studio. To start, I've got the QNAP NAS system here. Basically, I do a lot of backups, and whenever my Mac is connected to the TS4, I am hardwired with a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet connection to ensure that all my backups are done as fast as possible and I don't lose my data. But in this guy, I've got 16 terabytes per drive and a total of 64 terabytes of storage to ensure that I am never out of space for all my essential backups. Then next to the NAS, I've got the Apple iPod Hi-Fi, which was an accessory alongside the iPod when it first came out in the early 2000s. If you'd like to see a review on that, check out my description, which will have a link to the video on the review. Then just above the iPod Hi-Fi, I've got Robocop's Auto 9 Pistol. This is a 3D printed model, and for what it is, it is a damn good replica of Robocop's Auto 9. And the one item which is garnering a lot of interest is the Pixu 64. This display is more than just a frame. It is a beautiful portal to a vast community of pixel art. From classic video game characters to quirky animations, even your gaming scores, cryptocurrency stats, or even your YouTube channel performance. Now, as great as the hardware is, the companion app is where the magic happens. It offers an array of functions like design, animation, music visualizer, and a ton more. The user interface is decent, though it can feel a bit crowded with options. You'll find everything from clock faces to social media and game integrations. So yeah, the Pixu 64 is priced at a steep $170, but consider the unique experience it offers. It's not just a clock, it's a statement piece that adds personality to any space. And if you're into pixel art or just want something special that stands out, the Pixu 64 is definitely an item to check out. And that's a wrap on my 2024 Ultra Desk Setup, where cutting edge technology meets creativity. If you found inspiration in this video or enjoyed the journey through my studio, please give it a thumbs up. Your likes help more than you know. 
And if you're eager to see more innovative and awesome content like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for updates. I've got plenty of exciting projects lined up this year and I can't wait to share them with you. Stay creative and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible in your own creative spaces. Thanks for watching. Till next time, see ya.